In 1979, the West Indies were continuing their dominance and they did it again in the final. Clive Lloyd made 100 in the first final. Viv Richards made one in the second final in 1979. It was a slightly depleted uh, World Cup. The Australian side, for one, uh, didn't have its World Series players in the, uh, in the team. Uh, Australia failed to get anywhere near the final. But the West Indies, once again, uh, were rampant and they just uh, took all before them. And, and they got to the final, and I guess it's, um, uh, it, it signifies the, uh, the, the strength, the great strength and the dominating factors in West Indies cricket at that stage. Sure, they had the four fast bowlers, but they had some very, very aggressive batsmen, and no one was more aggressive than Viv Richards. Viv Richards, uh, we, we all hear about what an aggressive and attacking batsman he was, but he was also a very determined player and, and he was the sort of player who performed well on the big stage. He loved the big stage. He came out against England, that would have been even more incentive uh, in the final. Um, I, I remember talking to Imran Khan uh, and Imran Khan wasn't a man who was easily intimidated, but he once told me that the only batsman who ever intimidated him was Viv Richards. He said the way he walked to the crease as though he owned the cricket ground and he'd get out there and he'd take guard and then he'd, he'd bang the top of the, the grip um, and he said you know, just his presence there was intimidating. Well he was very, very intimidating uh, on this occasion in the final. He blasted uh, England to all parts. He got a bit of help uh, in a, an important partnership with Collis King which took, um, took the West Indies score Probably uh, without Collis King's contribution, it was going to be a difficult chase for England, but with Collis and Viv going well together near the end, they just took the score to a point where you always felt that uh, England were going to struggle to get there, which they did. Uh, the, the final in 1979 uh, will always be remembered for a magnificent Viv Richard century.